Hi everybody, this is Joe Jurek and welcome back to realestateinvestingadventures.com or REIA.fun. Why? Because real estate investing sure is an adventure and boy, is it a lot of fun. Well, thank you for joining me for my wheel series. What are we gonna cover today? Another exciting topic, the wheel of mystery. Fortune. Oh my goodness. In life, what do they say? Sometimes people don't put enough time, energy, effort, or have a plan. They don't want to fail. They just don't put in the effort. Real estate investing is no different. So what are some of the top reasons that I found as I travel the country and I have met thousands of real estate investors. What are some of the things that I found that they told me contributed to bad deals or their failure or them not being able to make money in real estate investing? Can you learn from other people's failures? You can. Can you learn from what other people have done? You sure can. So what are we gonna talk about? One of the biggest things that people tell me, the reason why they failed with real estate investing, they didn't devote enough time. If this is important to you, are you gonna devote time, specific time each and every day? You want it to happen, you need it to happen, it's got to happen, but oh, I work, Joe, I worked 10 or 12 hours today, I just don't have the time. My favorite television show is on today and I, I'm entitled to watch it because I worked so hard today. I understand that, but I want to ask you, how bad do you want this? If you want this bad enough, are you willing to carve out the time? I know you are. You got to commit, commit. You have to have commitment to do this. You got to want this so bad that you're gonna devote the time. What else did people run into? They didn't have the education. They wanted to jump in with both feet, they weren't sure what to do, but they thought they'd figure it out as they went along. Do you wanna go faster? Do you wanna make this happen even quicker? Well, you gotta take a look at my website. I not only offer these great videos, I have a lot of other programs, other courses, other information, I work with people and do consulting. So if you think you could benefit from more education and you want to go faster, you want to go quicker, you got to get education either through me or somebody else. Okay. But you got to do it. It's what you don't know that might cost you money or worse yet time experience through doing real world you're gonna gain experience. You may not do everything correctly. You may make mistakes and that's okay. I'm giving you permission to make a mistake, even two. Do we learn a lesson from those mistakes? We should, but doing it and not doing it right is better than sitting there and doing nothing. I'm telling you, you wanna live life with no regrets. Do you want to be 70, 80 years old and saying, oh, real estate, oh, if I would have only, should have, would have, could have. Live life with no regrets and live in the moment. I say that often, but you got to truly live it. Undercapitalized. People do projects, buy, fix, or flip. Do I find projects that people lose back to the lender or the bank a lot? I do. They go into a project and they think about, okay, I only need so much to acquire it. I only need so much to do the renovation. But do they think about everything else? The holding costs, insurance, utilities, their cost of money, maybe association fees, keeping the lawn mowed, the pool clean. Sometimes they go into a deal and they're undercapitalized. They tear into the home and they hit what I call an uh-oh, we didn't budget for that. We thought renovation costs would be 15,000 and all of a sudden it's 20, 25,000. If they're undercapitalized, could that cause a problem? 
you better believe it. You gotta make sure you have enough funds, enough resources in order to do the deal. Worst dishonest people. I wanna tell you out there, I have met a lot of wonderful people. Coast to coast, as I've traveled, thousands of people, good-hearted people, sincere. They want to succeed and I want them to succeed. But here's the thing I found. Over the course of doing real estate, have I met a few dishonest people? I have. Some people might tell you anything to sell a property. Some contractors might say they can do anything and then take a check and they don't show up. There will be dishonest people that you run into. I often say one bad apple in the barrel shouldn't spoil the whole bunch. But this is what I want to tell you. In life, you have run into dishonest people. In life, you have run into people that have hurt you. But have you let it stop you? No. You learn from that experience and you were what? Living life. It's okay. Unfortunately, we get hurt, but I believe in karma. They'll get in the end, okay? That's why I say I live in Florida. There's a lot of lightning bolts. Sometimes I say, man, that lightning bolt might have been for a dishonest person. So as we look at the wheel of misfortune, there's so many things that could go wrong, but there are so many things that can go right. Don't give up on your real estate investing dreams. You can make it happen with real estate. Live your real estate adventure in the moment, every day with no regrets. But most importantly, have a lot of fun. This is Joe Jurek with realestateinvestingadventures.com or REIA.fun signing off in this episode. Watch my other wheel series to learn even more and Go out there and make your dreams a reality. Take care. Believe and achieve. Bye-bye.